Hey everyone, I'm Ariel Adams and today I'm at the Mr. Porter Style Suite here in New York City. The Style Suite is a special exhibition where they're inviting some of their exclusive VIP customers as well as members of the press, including ourselves, to see a lot of the new watches that have been released recently at Watches and Wonders as well as representatives of some of the brands that Mr. Porter carries. Mr. Porter is an authorized dealer of many fine watches in addition to selling lots of items uh, under men's style, including clothing and shoes, which is what I'm wearing. Uh, Mr. Porter outfitted me in a handsome outfit, and so now I'm gonna choose a couple of watches that are available on Mr. Porter and talk about them and how they go with my outfit as well as how they're cool watches. Let's talk about this Panerai. Panerai is one of the brands that Mr. Porter carries. It's one of the sportier ones and Mr. Porter has a nice selection uh, of Panerais. This is one of the new submersibles in Carbotech. This is a carbon based material. It's very very light. The submersible is one of their diving watches. You can see here a blue dial. This is the newer version of the submersible. We're going to have a blue theme right now. We're going to talk about just blue watches because blue watches are very very in right now. The submersible watch and a lot of Panerais are interesting from a style perspective because it's one of the few watches which you can wear that is oversized, meaning if the watch is too big for your wrist, it actually still looks good. That's rare and uncommon with most watches, whereas they're too big on your wrist, it's not gonna look good. This version of the Panerai Submersible combines classic designs with a lot of modern themes, including the new movement, as well as the case materials, and some of the modern futuristic styling. This is a really good everyday wear watch, as well as something you can wear for activities. Speaking of blue dialed sports watches and fitting with the large watch trend, this is the 43 millimeter wide version of the IWC Big Pilots watch. Ironically, it's the smallest of the Big Pilots watches at 43 millimeters, but it keeps a lot of the flavor that the even larger Big Pilots watches have, including the large distinctive turnip style crown that classic Pilots watches have. As you can see, this is a simple three hand dial, no date. When you want to evoke a sense of a risky, sporty lifestyle, but you really mostly wear watches in terms of social events. It's got that nice brushed and polished case along with that matching metallic blue dial. And this watch also comes on a bracelet. On the back of the watch, you can see the really nicely made in-house made IWC movement. And this is also one of the rare watches you can wear that even if it's a little bit too large for your wrist, it looks good. IWC Big Pilots watch, it's fantastic for a suit or something casual. And it's really one of the most versatile watches you can get, especially with the blue dial. And what's great about the blue dial is it's a very conservative color, but it draws a little bit more attention to yourself rather than say a black or a white dial. Moving on to classicism, let's look at a calendar watch by Jaeger Lecoultre. This is a simple calendar watch that has a moon phase indicator as well as the date. So you have a beautiful symmetrical dial here. And on the bottom, just over the six o'clock hour marker is a combination dial that has a moon phase indicator and the date. This watch really is what you would call an all-purpose dress watch. It's a little bit more complicated than their simple time-only or date watches because it has those additional complications, which sort of puts it into the historic world of horology, so that when you're wearing the mechanical watch, you're thinking about a little bit more than just sort of a style piece, but you're thinking about the world of watchmaking and history and craftsmanship. To draw a little bit more attention to yourself, but still having a classic timepiece, let's look at this slim classic from Hermes. This is a skeletonized moon phase version of the watch, and it's really nice to look carefully at the dial to see all the cutout. There basically is no dial. There's a view of the face, which has cutouts here for the moon phase indicator. It's what's known as a double moon phase indicator because you can see the top and the bottom, and if you really want to take it to a logical extension, you can see the moon phase in both the northern and southern hemispheres. Hermes does such a wonderful job of adding a contemporary urban feel to the classic dress watch. This is a watch heavily inspired by architecture and the slim classic case here is rendered in titanium with a platinum bezel. An interesting combination of materials that allows it to be both lightweight but a little bit weighty at the same time because titanium is a strong lightweight metal which is done in the sandblasted finishing and then you have a polished bezel in platinum. Wonderful combination of materials and then you have on the back 
the beautiful skeletonized micro rotor automatic movement that again has that moon phase indicator on the dial. Very beautiful and distinctive timepiece from Hermes. I love the matte alligator gray strap. A gray color watch is going to be nearly as versatile as a black or a blue watch, but it's going to go with a little bit more color. So you don't have that color pop of some of the more colorful timepieces out there, but gray is a very universal color that goes with many things, including the outfit that I'm wearing today. If you want to have some attention drawn to yourself, colors are a great way to do it, but a more traditional way of drawing attention to yourself is precious stones, and this Piaget has a lot of them. This is one of the Emperador watches, which has a combination of a micro rotor skeletonized automatic movement, as well as a diamond decorated dial. So you can see that beautiful cushion style case there, and around it is a setting of large round cut stones. The movement is plated in blue, so you have a beautiful skeletonized movement with a blue color, very distinctive, not something you see all the time, and the blue mixed with the 18 karat white gold case, as well as the diamonds, create an interesting combination of colors that is very trendy right now. On the rear of the watch, you can see the elegantly hand-finished Piaget in-house made automatic movement with the micro rotor there. That micro rotor is going to be in platinum so that it has extra weight, but it's also nice that it's an additional precious metal on the watch. One of the things which is really important in a dress watch or a formal watch like this is that it's simple and it goes with a tuxedo or another piece of formal wear. But Piaget likes to have a little bit more personality in that. So what I like about Piaget is you don't have the standard round case experience. Here you have a little bit more of a cushion case. There's a skeletonized dial. It fits firmly within that formal watch category, but it has a lot more personality. And for that reason, I think a lot of people will like this as a dress or tuxedo watch. Here we have one of the new Excalibur watches by Roger Dubuis. And if you want to be a little bit ostentatious, a little bit sporty, a little bit flirty, and definitely want to have something which has a contemporary design, but from a very traditional Swiss-made manufacturer in Geneva, Roger Dubuis is one of the brands that combines a wonderful mixture of traditional Swiss-made heritage, because they have a manufacturer in Geneva where they make all their watches and movements, but they also have a contemporary side, modern designs, futuristic themes, inspired inspired by interesting materials as well as the automotive world. And speaking of interesting materials, this watch is produced from an interesting metal alloy, mostly created for the automotive world, and the alloy is designed to be formed in small pieces in a very, very high durability. So small precision parts, they're very, very strong, makes a lot of sense for a watch case. And Roger de Bouy does that a lot. It uses interesting materials that you may have never seen in the watchmaking world, which are incorporated into pieces like the Excalibur. This this is the 42 millimeter wide version of the Excalibur on an interesting padded leather strap and you can see the movement is both skeletonized but it also has a tourbillon. Roger Dubuis produces a lot of tourbillon watches. Some of their watches have multiple tourbillons in them and this is a single tourbillon watch with a manually wound movement. More of that blue theme here similar to how we saw in the Piaget where we have a skeletonized movement which is coated in blue. Very trendy, very hip, very universally appealing with a lot of different fashion choices. Roger Dubuis is also the official watchmaker of certain high-end automobiles. They've had relationships with companies like Lamborghini and Pirelli, and a lot of these types of watches have been incorporated into those seams. So it's a very versatile design. The Excalibur is really, really popular right now, but it's still a little bit of an unsung hero in the exclusive hotelology world of high-end timepieces. Taken together, you have a serious piece of high-end horology that stylistically fits into a world of contemporary fashion. And what I really like about Roger Dubuis is you can wear it in a more classic setting, but you could also wear it in a more casual setting. And in any situation, it feels interesting, it draws a lot of attention to itself, and it makes for a great wearing experience. As you can see, even amongst one color, blue, there's a lot of variety and options you can have in the watch world today. These are some of the latest watches that you can find at Mr. Porter. They always have the newest stuff in there, and they're an authorized dealer of a lot of brands. You can learn more about these specific watches and more at the Mr. Porter website. Thank you.